Hi guys, so this is going to be my introduction to vectors. So firstly, what is a vector? Well, very simply, a vector is a physical quantity that has both magnitude and direction. So that's important. It's got magnitude and it's also got directions. So I've given some examples here of what is a scalar. Now a scalar is a physical quantity that only has magnitude. So an example of a scalar would be um, distance, speed. So if you remember kinematics, if you study if you've studied kinematics before vectors, you'll remember speed is just the speed like a car has speed and it it can go 40 kilometers per hour forwards and it can go 40 kilometers per hour backwards and the speed is the same it doesn't matter if it's going forwards or backwards whereas the velocity is different it's very different if it's going forwards and going backwards whereas the speed is the same and it's the same here with mass um, it doesn't have direction, temperature doesn't have direction, whereas all these like displacement, velocity, force, acceleration have direction. So clearly you can see vectors um, are going to have a lot of applications in this kind of, well, this kinematics area. In physics, there's loads and loads of examples, um, graphic design. And anywhere where you, if you want to um, model straight, well, if you want to use straight lines to model in three dimensions, then vectors is vectors are really, really useful. Okay, so um, let's get into how we can write vectors and what the whole what the whole thing means. So we have a few different ways to write to write a vector. We can have imagine we have point. Okay, well, hang on. Let's start with um, a vector that looks like this. So we're going to draw vectors using using straight lines. So imagine a vector goes along three and up up four. Now what we do is we put an arrow on the vector. Now usually at the end, but sometimes you'd see an, an arrow in the middle. So this this vector this is a vector. It has a it has a length and you, and we'll see later on how to get the magnitude of a of a vector, but it's actually Pythagoras' theorem that will help us get the magnitude. So it has a mag it has a magnitude, it has a length but it also has a direction, it's going in a certain direction. So the way we actually write this vector is, we write it like this, um, one, two, three, so three is here, and then one, two, three, four, three, four, like this. So you might have seen this notation before, three, four, not to be confused with uh, NCR from choosing objects, it's, you can also see that notation written like that, but uh, it's got nothing to do with that. So three, four means I go along three and up four, and that's the direction of it. Um, a vector like this would be, I don't know, let's go like something like this. This vector, if I'm going that way, will be negative four. So this is going to be negative four, and then negative two, negative four, negative two. Now, something that's important with vectors is and I need to do this. Something that's important is I can pick this vector up and move it anywhere I want and it's still the same vector. This vector is 3 4. It doesn't matter where where it goes. So if I actually like if I have it here and let's just copy this and I and I have another vector. These vectors are exactly the same. This vector is also 3 4. What's different is, may, well, imagine you're a car, this guy's starting here, and he travels um, using this vector to here, and then this guy travels using this vector to here. They've still traveled the exact same amount in the exact same direction, they've just started in different places. So this, these vectors are the same. Um, okay, that's the first thing. Second thing, um, we're going to move vectors into three dimensions. So look at this. Here we have GeoGebra. Now, I can type a vector in here, vector um, point. Now, if you just type in a point, let's say two, three, negative four, he assumes you're starting from zero, starting from zero. So he's going He's going two in the x direction, so let's 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 go over here a second. So this red, the red 
axis is the x axis the green axis is the y axis and i'll show you the z axis in a second is the blue axis so we can see here he goes along two so over two in the x direction up three so up three to here and then minus four so he's going down four so look at this so he's actually gone down four um like so so he's gone along two down four and it, it's not possible to kind of see the whole the the point perfect point for on the three axes but you get the idea it looks like that another option you can do in GeoGebra is he gives you a start point and an end point so let's say I go two five negative one and then let's go I don't know negative six three four that gives me this vector now I can't just pick up the vector and, and move it along but or move it around but you get the point that's a vector now what he's actually doing is he's starting so he's starting at two he's starting at two five so that's two five and then he's down one negative one and he's going up here so what he's ac what what GeoGebra actually does is he writes the vector because if he starts at two and goes to negative six if these are his x components look he starts at two and and goes to negative six that's actually he's moving left shall we say eight so it's actually negative eight negative two and five is the same thing and, I, and i'll get to that in more detail but it's important you understand what how a vector works in three dimensions okay back to this notation how do we write vectors so there's a few different ways to do it let's say i have a point a point a and a point b this is the vector a b i'm going to put this here now i can write a b like this a b sometimes so the capital letters are the points a b and then sometimes this will be given a name like a, some, some kind of small letter let's let's say uh, u so this is actually u so i can say a b equals u now imagine imagine this vector was let's go with one negative two three something like that this is how i write it one negative two three and then more notation that you need to know is i j and k are the unit vectors that means vectors of length one in the uh, x direction y direction and z direction so what i mean by that in the positive direction i should say what I mean by that is I can write this as 1i, or just i, because it would be like 1i, minus 2j plus 3k. So this is important. You are most certainly going to come across um, i, j, k notation. And when they say, when you see it, it just means, it's just another way of writing this. I almost always work when I'm doing vector vector calculations I much prefer this way of writing things is much much nicer than IJK which can, can become confusing okay last thing I want to show you position vectors position vectors so a position vector position vectors posi position vectors are from go from the origin so for example, if this is the origin, if this is the origin, and let's say this is A, this point is A, we say the position vector, the position vector of point A is almost always little a. And these small letters are often bolded. But this is this is zero, this is the origin. This is some point, and we say this point has a position vector. 
which basically means um, the the vector from zero to the point is a and that's that is the position vector I'm going to talk a lot more um, about position vectors um, throughout this series of, of lessons on, on vectors that's an introduction hopefully it makes it makes sense um, possibly one thing again I, I am going to talk about this in, in more detail when I, when I do operations with vectors but if this if this is vector um, let's say this is vector let's just call it a seeing as we call that a and I go along three and up four well if I have another vector like well I can paste again if I have this vector but this time let's put this here and delete this this time I'm going to change the arrow this way so this guy's going this way this guy's going this way you probably guessed how can I write this in terms of a well it's just negative a because it's going the other direction I will as I say talk a lot more about that in the next in the next video um, hopefully this hasn't made you too scared because the vectors vectors is one of those topics that is very very difficult to get your head around at the beginning but once you do I actually find it's it's a it's a really nice topic and well the questions can get they can get difficult but I think if you if you fully understand the topic and maybe you could say this with with all the topics but if you um if you do fully understand it there isn't really much they can ask that you won't be able to do okay that's it um see you shortly in the next video where we're doing um operations, vector operations, see you then.